I want to find out what's the position. What, for example, what type of report would you be going forward to today with the, or during the summit to the leaders? Yeah. Well, you understand the threat of the risking in which they are literally delinking Caribbean countries from the international payment system. It has implications for trade, it has implications for investments, it has humanitarian implications. Even the whole issue of remittances, you find um, individuals, Caribbeaners in the diaspora, would find it even more difficult to remit funds to their loved ones here in the Caribbean who are vulnerable. It also has implications of literally increasing unemployment within the region and plunging people into poverty. In fact, it will make the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals even more difficult if this issue continues unabated. It also represents a competitive threat to Caribbean indigenous banks because they're the ones who bear the brunt of the risking. So whereas banks in the United Kingdom, the US, Europe have been able to grow over the centuries from very small entities into extremely large global entities today, what they're now doing, they're saying by virtue of the size of our Caribbean banks and they're not prepared to do business with them. And that in itself is somewhat anti-competitive so that many of our Caribbean banks have had to close their, door, their doors. And uh, we are literally enhancing our level of um, advocacy to ensure that there's global advocacy on this issue so that the various stakeholders, the regulators, the corresponding banks themselves, that they could understand the impact of the risking. And also for the corresponding banks to understand that corresponding banking is a global public good. So they cannot look at this issue exclusively from the standpoint of profitability or from the standpoint of risk, but understand that if they do not serve countries in the Caribbean, and they literally delink us from the international payment system, that they will be plunging our respective countries into poverty. And there are also security threats, because if people cannot bank, if they can't move money, then you will have to find some nefarious means to move those monies. Fine. And the attended risk, the security risk with such activities are certainly exportable, which will create yet another problem. 